Okay, I wanted to uh, take some samples here of a really interesting HF radar project that uh, has some particular features to it that uh, I thought were worth uh, talking about. So this particular radar style that we're looking at is a form of modulation known as FMCW or frequency modulated carrier waves. And they all have a very standard sweep repetition frequency and this is uh, designed into the system in order to develop a good echo within the range that these are looking in. So what are these exactly? Well, these are part of a really neat system made uh, in the uh, California coast and the company is known as the Kodar Ocean Sensor Company and these are the CSON radars that are placed on different parts of the west coast to track wave height and ocean current activity. It's really a neat system. So the CODAR or Coastal Ocean Dynamics Application Radars uh, are set here uh, between 4.3 and 5.4 megacycles. Each particular radar here is considered a long-range radar and has an approximate view or minimum or I guess maximum unambiguity range of 100 to 200 kilometers. The power that each particular signature has is around 80 watts. The sweep that we're seeing here I wanted to start out with, uh, they're all 25 kc radar sweeps. The program is set up in a, such a way to maximize the bandwidth that's been allotted for these sensors and so they're set up in a way where the signatures will never interfere with each other but they can occupy almost the same bandwidth or frequency uh, but there will be a time deviation between a couple signatures so this signature we're looking at looks to be 50 kc and it's sweep in the waterfall but in fact it's two independent signatures as viewed in the pan adapter you can see the two pulses run across the screen running from high to low so it's an interesting observation for this uh, experiment and demonstration, we'll also leave the receiver opened in the upper sideband position to three kilocycles. So this will allow the beat frequency oscillation effect as these carriers travel through our receiver, and we'll be able to remodulate that and hear some audio. Uh, that's important to note that these signatures have no modulation on them, and that's a product of the receiver alone. Let's go ahead and look at another sample. Okay, I've retuned here and you can see in this particular example there's just a really clean 25 kc linear sweep here it has the same sweep repetition frequency developing its echo there's some interesting selective fading on the carrier that's evident with the shape that you're seeing in the waterfall but this is a really good uh, clean standalone 25 kc sweep let's look at another sample okay I've just retuned here and although propagation is changing, you can start to identify, again, two signatures set up in a particular fashion. We have uh, a signature on the left and a signature on the right that's a little bit weaker. But uh, these signatures are separated in time deviation and frequency. So another good example of uh, the kind of uh, reactions that uh, these particular sensors can occupy. And they change day to day. These are just some pretty in interesting uh, interesting ones. These two pulses you saw here we'll have to talk about later as well. Those are some uh, really advanced uh, frequency hopping uh, instruments that hop about 10, 10 times a second. Let's look at another sample. Okay, I've retuned here and again we see a couple different signatures. The first signature off to the left is much weaker and occupies a whole different frequency range than the very strong sample off to our right where we have the center of the passband. So again, just a really interesting view of how these specific CSON uh, CODAR sensors are set up. There's also additional Bragg scatter radars that are very dynamic in their application and they occupy around an 8 kilocycle sweep and they're sweep repetition frequency is very very dynamic and so is their frequency as they're trying to establish a much more 
direct bearing range and speed of a particular wave front. And they're a very interesting radar signature to watch as their oscillations change drastically and their characteristics change an awful lot. And we'll have to get uh, additional samples of those. Okay, I just shifted frequencies again here, and this is really uh, one of the the highest uh, frequencies that I've seen a particular 25 KC uh, radar signature appear on. And uh, as you can see, it's a standalone, simple, clean 25 KC sweep, very linear from high to low, as evident in the uh, in the waterfall display. So interesting samples again. Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, take one more. Well, let's zoom in on this so we can see a little bit more detail of this carrier sweep. This is a pretty good, uh, pretty good resolute shot here of how the uh, carrier sweep is developing in its uh, marker range. We'll uh, be taking additional samples of the mid-range radar system as well that operates from 11.5 to 14 megacycles with its uh, multiple 100 KC radar sweeps and uh, also uh, a pretty interesting radar front that's uh, good to view uh, good range resolution between 20 and 60 kilometers as compared to these at 100 to 200 kilometers. Hope you enjoyed these samples of the uh, FMCW type signature. These very obviously very, very different from over-the-horizon radars and frequency domain radars that we've also been uh, taking samples of. Pretty interesting stuff. Hope you enjoyed the sample. Thanks for watching.